have a judgment that there's something wrong. If you imagine, you imagine you knew you were God. So here's God and he's sitting in heaven and he's bored. You know, I'm sick of clouds and angels and all that sweet music they play. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Oh, boring, boring, boring. I know, I'm going to create a game. And it's going to be full of action. Like one of those Hollywood movies. And lots of drama. And I have lots of countries and all these different things. And then I'm going to forget that I'm God and I'm going to play these games. And then the ultimate game, after I've been through all this suffering and torture and drama and injustice and racial prejudice and sexual prejudice and countries bombing each other and children starving and everything, 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 everything. And all the beauty and the maravilla of my creation. I'm going to remember that it was just a big game. Okay, so that's not your experience. But imagine it was. Can you imagine anything more phenomenal than the human experience? It's so brilliant. It tricked God into believing that he was a little human looking for God looking for love. And the separation was in everything. Everything. Nothing didn't experience separation. Right down to the insects. Okay? Everything was separation. Everything was a little universe, a little world unto itself. All with its own little dramas, own little prejudices, own little religions, own little problems, all marching off to war to defend their little belief systems. When you wake up and you realize that, the suffering stops. And that's when the game really begins because you jump into it 100%. And you find joy in every aspect. But when you're in the middle of it, everything looks so unjust. Everything. People die. Horrible things happen. You see injustice everywhere. You see people as victims. You see all the suffering. Why do you see that? Because you are that. But when you find your own greatness, all you see is perfection. But from your heart, it's not an idea of disconnection. And you start to elevate every aspect so it too can experience that beauty. So it too can live without fear. So it too can live in absolute freedom. And as your consciousness evolves, you will start to have chispasos of that, sparks of that. And you'll start to perceive the love. 